The Flash is the student forum. For students. Produced by students. Students make all content. Decisions. Research. Write. Shoot. And broadcast. News stories they deem important to the East U community. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for The, the Flash. Flash. Welcome, Welcome to today's episode of The Flash. I'm Damien. And I'm Evan. And today on this episode of The Flash, we have Godwin with his new installment of Fit Picks in Fashion. Along with Savannah's and Brady's story on Lucy LeVon's Halloween decorations. And finally, we have Anthony taking a look through all the scary things for Halloween so you can get spooked out. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for The, the Flash. Flash. These costumes are pretty cool, don't you think, Evan? Yeah, of course. Speaking of costumes, in this episode of Fit Picks and Fashion, Godwin and Sam are taking a look at spooky costumes. Hello. Welcome to another... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Fit Picks and Fashion, everybody. Today, we have decided to don our costumes for uh, Hollow's Eve. I am uh, Otis from Back in the Barnyard, actually, my favorite childhood show. I am Maid. As you can see, we also have costumes on, but you guys, maybe you need costumes. So we're going to give you some of the most co common costumes last year and our predictions for what this year might look like and then maybe you guys can take some ideas who knows my first common costume from last year the purge masks ah uh, yeah yeah there were a lot of those there iconic were a lot of those. iconic very iconic very iconic very very overdone number two the bunny you're taking some inspiration from that aren't i you? have taken a little bit of inspiration yeah from that with the, the the ears we have fortnite Nothing else is Fortnite. So. My favorite guy who was the guy who um, cosplayed as Ninja and then started streaming on Twitch and then got like really big off of it. Oh, yeah. Ninja. What? Ninja, right? No, he was... He was uh, what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Clown. Clown. There were a lot of clowns. That's what some of you be acting like these days. Facts. Whether They're they were clowns. in the makeup or not, uh, there were a few. <laughs> Some of them were actually dressed as bunnies last year, too. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Going forward. Oh, thank you. Going now into our predictions. Um, a few Olivia Rodrigo's, I think. Yeah. That's no, no that's actually my top costume for this year, actually, was going to be Olivia Rodrigo. Really? Yeah. Godwin, you took the words right out of my mouth. No, yeah. See, Until uh, after, I decided after, on Otis. After she released Album of the Year, um, I just thought, you know, why not? I, yeah. You know? Just go for it, man. Yeah, just go for it, right? Why not honor our queen, <laughs> Olivia, Olivia Rodrigo? Rodrigo. <laughs> yeah. We would also like to know what you guys are going dressed as. Um, so please uh, send us um, pictures of you guys in your Halloween costumes uh, over at, at EVHS Media. Very excited for this year's Halloween. Please stay safe, stay healthy. Stay trippy, my friends. Wow, you have to love the look of those costumes. Yeah, and if you'd like to be featured in the next episode of Fit Picks in Fashion, make sure to message Godwin.Agbara on Instagram or go to the EVHS media page. Don't send any bad photos. Hey Evan, are you decorating your house for Halloween? Yes, I am. Why do you ask? Because Lucy Levon and her dad have seemed to made an abundance of decorations on their house. Savannah and Brady have the story. Here I am in front of the Levon residence, one of the many families who goes all out for Halloween, and I wanted to know why. Why do you go all out for Halloween? It's Spooktober. <laughs> it's Spooktober. It's the greatest month of the year. So we celebrate all year long. I mean, all month long. We did not always do this. Um, my dad just recently bought, like, I swear, 400 boxes of Halloween decorations, and every single day he has been putting more and more stuff out, and it's all on his social media that he's promoting. <laughs> Every day for the entire month of October, the Levons put up a new decoration. What are some things that your friends have said about your house? 
Well, everyone likes to come over because they all like to take photos and um, put stuff on Snapchat. Um, we're going to spend Halloween here just so that we can scare little kids and all of that. So they're all very excited about it. Have you noticed that this has impacted your neighborhood or even people passing by? Hopefully it's scared the little kids. That's the whole goal. The whole object, we only have one objective and the objective is to scare at least one little kid so he has night terrors at night and he's crying or he wets his bed or something like that. Or they stop by and they see the, the hanging dummy up there off the ladder and they stop and they think it's me hanging from the roof. Greg has one last message to share with everyone. Embrace Spooktober. That's all I have to That's the most important thing. Embrace Spooktober. Halloween is one of those holidays that brings out the creative side of everyone. And it is amazing seeing all of the crazy creations people come up with. Signing off for The Flash, this is Savannah. Did you know that Greg has a TikTok where he posts most of his new decorations daily? Go check it out at the.real.novelg. Wow, I'll have to check it out. Are you doing anything for Halloween this year? No, I don't have anything in mind yet. Uh, don't worry, there's plenty of things you can do this year. Anthony has a story. It's that time of year again, Eastview. Crisp fall air, the smell of freshly fallen leaves. Spooky season is upon us. Need pumpkins to carve for your house? Or maybe a photo shoot? Find great pumpkins at Paul's Market in Apple Valley. Paul's Market has a wonderful selection of pumpkins to choose from. Need a good scare? Valley Scare is always a great option. And for those of you brave enough, the haunting experience in Cottage Grove includes a hayride and a haunted house. That'll be sure to give you a good fright. If the cold fall weather isn't for you, try watching some classic scary movies. Signing off for The Flash, this is Anthony. Wow, those seem pretty fun. Looks like that's all we have for today. Make sure you have a happy Halloween and stay, stay tuned, tuned for, for the credits. credits. Hello, my name is Dr. Tony Archipolio Moses Apalapa Saka Alfredo Pescanito. Recently, I came across a boy who seemed a little quaky. This gave me an idea to create a world-changing disease affecting the teenage mind and body. After intense research, I was finally able to bring in the first test subject. All right, this is test patient 001. Uh, this is the first patient we have on testing for the Halloween fever. Luke Cobbett, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, I play football and wrestle for ECU High School. Um, I live in Apple Valley. How are you feeling right now? I feel normal. It's a typical Wednesday. Just nothing going on, really. How about your emotions? You know, my emotions, I feel relaxed, chill. One week after the first patient's injection, I realized the disease could be worse than I thought. Research showed that teenagers could be affected in serious ways, such as coughing, wheezing, crawling, even rolling. Sometimes the side effects even include dressing up as Halloween characters randomly and even being addicted to sugar. After two weeks, the patient had gotten so out of control, I had to lure him in using candy corn. All right, this is test patient. Zero, zero, 001 again, Luke Hobbeck. Luke, how are you feeling? You know, I feel uh, energized. I got more energy. I feel great. How about you, man? You feel great? I feel great. How has your experience been um, this past week or so? Well, you know, candy corn is just, just coming out of, just coming out of everywhere. I, got, I think I just, just coming out of my arm, my sleeves. I see candy corn. I just go for it. Luke, you seem a little different from our last interview. What's happened? You know, my hair's grown more. Uh, uh, I think. I got candy corn coming out of me, you know. It's delicious. I just, I just, I just need candy corn all the time. Are you, so has it been like a real problem? Like, how do you feel when you don't have candy oh, corn? Oh, no, 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 it's not a problem. I just get angry and super angry when I don't have candy corn, but I don't think it's a problem. During this process, I secretly gave the Halloween fever to five students from Eastview High School. Could you be one of them?